Greetings to all you beautiful people on YouTube. Uh, today we're going to be working on a gas grill. Um, we've got, it's a Duquesne grill that we got free. Uh, we went through and cleaned it and it kind of sort of works, but not great. So we've got some new burners to put in it. And that's what we're gonna be doing today. So the, this grill is hooked to natural gas. So that's good because we're not using propane. And uh, that's why we're gonna take the effort to go ahead and repair it instead of just getting a replacement one. You can see that the uh, igniters are kind of seen better days. The, a bunch of these holes are plugged on the burners uh, with rust and stuff. When we initially worked on it, we tried to clean them out a little bit. Uh, it didn't do that great of a job. So today we're going to go ahead and see if we can make it better. See this igniter missing the cover completely on it. The burners that we oh, got. Is that the spring over there? Yeah. From it or something else? No. Oh, it's the other cover. Okay. So. Well, that doesn't work so well. What doing? Well, I'm trying to determine what of this is holding this in here. Doesn't just pop out? I don't think so, but possibly. It just looks like it's just set in those little braces. You mean like that? Yeah, that's what it looks like from over here. There it's hooked up, but I'm hoping this will give me access to these so I don't have to bend over. On the way out here, I was asked if I needed something to sit on, and foolishly I said no. Well, I brought you something, so it's behind you. <laughs> I have a little booster chair over there for you if you want it. Both of these came with new <laughs> igniters.
everybody loves the shrink wrap, right? That works. Keeps it shiny. Now you ordered these parts online? Yes, I did. Okay. That appears to be You're correct. The correct one. Collector box to fit Duquesne. Same part, no left and right. Careful examination. This looks like it is not a connector, it is a splice, which is fine. So there are three screws on the little igniter assembly. One that holds the actual igniter into the bracket here. And then two to clamp the bracket onto the burner tubes. They appear to all be stainless steel. Should hold up better. Well, hopefully it lasts more than a day or two. Pretty uneven. So what I'm trying to do now is just make sure that once I tighten this down, it's actually lined up over the top. So if you look through there, you should now be able to see we got it lined up pretty close. Um, the new burners have screens on them that the old ones did not have. The screens are great for keeping spiders from getting in there and making nests. So that's an improvement. 
I gotta go get some wire cutters. So I will be back momentarily so that we can splice this wire in. Okay, we're back, right? Yep, we're going. All right, so I'm making sure I'm cutting the right wire. That would be preferable. And that one is correct. We did get the right one. If you want to look in here, this is where the gas comes out. So it goes inside the hole in the end of this. Mom's in the shower, so I was going to ask. What do you need, little grandson? I just wanted to play. Oh, okay. Um, you could be out here. Nana's out here. What are you guys doing? We are filming Papa replacing the, what are these things? The replacing? burners. The burners in the grill. So the what? other ones, the other ones weren't working so well. So you guys can grill. Oh. So that dropped down in there. But why are you filming? Because we have a YouTube channel. What is it called? Team Klutzy. Wait, you have a YouTube channel now? We do. Papa and I are starting something new. What do you do in it? Home repairs, cooking, random things. They did not bring the little crimper pliers. Doing it with needle nose. Doing it with needle nose. Got a pretty good connection there. Oh, don't get your face in there while you're trying to start it. Yeah, I can see a spark. Just a little ways back where Papa's playing. And I don't know if the camera picks up the flame. I can see it. Um, that actually worked really good. Okay, that's good. All right. Okay, one down. So, <coughs> one down. One down. One to go. That doesn't go that way. That goes up that one. Pick a hole. Well, that other hole is the hole that the burner tube goes out. So it will correct one would be right. <laughs> the one that works. Probably be best to try to put it where it's supposed to be. Bunch of chairs.
I don't know if you can see down in there. I think it's just too close. Try to get enough of the gap where we can get a nice spark. Two clicks, boom. It. Okay, so this can't be too close. Do you want your pliers in there or is that one on? That one's not on. Okay. No, I would not want my pliers in there okay. while we're cooking. Just checking. It might taste kind of funny. So, since my back's starting to squawk, let's do it one more time. You want to uh, go ahead and look down in there. Got that one on high, that one on high. They both lit on the Yay. first click. Alright. Alright. So we'll turn them off before they get too hot. So at this point I may investigate getting knobs that are a little more visible to read. But at least for now you can uh, use the grill and cook on it. Take these guys. These wires are pretty stiff. And this is kind of tucked up out of the way here. But I think it'll be okay. Nice pretty blue glow in the sides. Okay. Well, I'm gonna let that run for a bit. I'm gonna go throw some stuff away. And I'll be back. Gather up the tools.
Can I stop it? I don't know if you want. Yep.